Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another day of Redbeard Grind. I'm Redbeard, and this is going to be my five and five video. I'm going to review what I sold yesterday, um, or the top five, at least for this one. So we had 17 cells, we did 560 in cells yesterday, which is a good day. And let me scroll down. I already got it sorted for y'all. Um, so everything's going to be, I think, at the $30 mark or more for the five and then for the full video. Most of it will be over 20. The last few won't be. All right, so let's get to it. Motorcycle helmets. I don't know anything about motorcycle helmets, but when I see them, I comp them. If they've got a good sell through rate, some of them go for the hundreds of dollars. Um, and uh, the, the Goodwill and Salvation Army doesn't always know how to price these things. I've seen prices from like four ninety nine up to. Um, they had this one priced at it was high. It was like thirty bucks, I think. But I I waited until it was on twenty five percent off, and then I bought it. I bought it for twenty five percent off. I think it was twenty four ninety nine, and I got it for twenty five percent off of that, and then sold it for. It sat for a little while. I've had it since January nineteenth. I sold it for. Uh, I think the guy sent me an offer for seventy. And and I shipped it yesterday. No, this morning. So the way that you can comp this is uh, bell, obviously. And then on the back side, usually there's there's a little more detail. I think that's the size 59 medium. And then you just have to dig around in the helmet to find any other details that you can. I think I got I was able to get a part number or something um, off of one of these tags back here. Yeah, so that's like their. I just remember like putting a bunch of this information in to find something. But anyways, the helmets can move. You can make some money off that. I got to go faster. I forgot to do my five and five. My five and fives have been five and six and five and seven minutes. They're, they're getting longer, so I got to go fast. And then I'll add all the details to the longer video. Um, Lululemon is a great bread and butter. Um, I pick up most of it, not all of it. The older stuff I tend not to pick up. Let's see if this has got the dot. It's got the dot in it. Um, which gives you the exact name of what you're looking for. Search, short, six inch inseam, color the name. Um, I listed this January 12th and it moved for $32. And you can get these shorts probably for $4.99 uh, because the thrift doesn't really know Lulu. And then some of the thrifts around here know what it is and they mark it up to like the $12, $14 range, but I still pick it up. Um, I probably wouldn't pick up shorts, but maybe if I can, I got 39 for them with the shipping. Um, but the, like the majority of the stores I go to don't know Lululemon, but some of them know it very well. Okay, this is another example of the FootJoy NBC shirts that are flying off the shelves. I was I found like 20, 25 of these the other day. There was a bunch of them. This is what you're looking for. NBC golf logo. Um, and the, uh, the, the collar, the, um, the FJ on the collar, I think, is a selling point too, but I'm not 100% sure. But I have tour branded collar. I just stole that from someone else's someone else's title, I mean, there's FJ, but the, uh, the logo inside. But if you see FJ and you see this, or you see Titleist, it's worth picking up. You know, you have to cop it, just pick it up and sell it. I got it for $4.99, and I've, I've sold a bunch already. Like one or two a day you're selling. Uh, let's see, vintage, why did I? Lucky Brand, oh, Lucky Brand sold for 31 bucks. So this is, Lucky Brand, you have to be careful. You have to comp it. Before you pick it up, just know that it's going to sell for a decent amount of money. You got to know the sell through rate, and make sure you're comfortable with it. Um, I listed these, they've been selling since November. So um, they were 15% off. So there's nothing special about them, I don't think. Let's see if I can find. There you go. Low rise bootleg button fly, 181. Um, sold for 31 bucks. And that's pretty high for Lucky Brand. Like most of the Lucky Brands they sell are at least in the 20s, and a lot of times like 16 bucks, 17 bucks. Uh, if you price them right, they'll, they'll move fast, though. And then all-terrain gear, Wranglers. I've been picking this up. They do pretty good. I listed these December 27th, sold for $35.88. I'm happy with that. These were new with tag. Um, and and I I have some of this listed, and I, I don't know how long it's been setting, but I don't have any of this set for a long, long time. Um, it's not like flying off the shelves, but it does pretty good. It's a decent bread and butter, I think. Uh, I've been picking up more and more Wrangler stuff. Just learn the brand. There is some Wrangler stuff that will move for money. Uh, here's your inside tag, all terrain gear. That's what you're looking for. 
So 35, that's good for Wrangler. One, two, three, four, five, that's all five. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up there. And then I'm gonna get on to my full video, which covers all the junk that sold yesterday. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.